and then the filing requirement is at April 15th, 2024 if you don't have any extensions. If you try not paying until April 15th, 2024, you will still get hit with the stick of penalties and interest. Remembering our goal here is not to get hit with the stick of uh, penalties and interest. That means that we want to basically withhold and pay throughout the year with withholdings or estimated tax payments, shoot for a bit of an overpayment to get a refund, not just because we like getting money from the IRS, a check from the IRS, if it's our own money, they're giving back to us, but because we're trying to avoid the penalties and interest. Okay, if you file after this date, you may have to pay interest and penalties. That's the stick we're trying to avoid. So see interest and penalties later. So if you were serving in or in support of the U.S. Armed Forces in a designated combat zone or a con contingency operation, you may be able to file later. See publication three for details. So if you are in the military, uh, thank you for your service. If you're if you're in a designated combat zone, uh, that sounds like a dangerous situation. And the IRS is gracious enough to give you a little bit more time uh, to file your tax return in that case. So that's nice of them. So if you e-file your return, there's no need to mail it. However, if you choose to mail it, instead filing st instructions and addresses are at the end of these instructions. So it used to be, of course, that we, tipped, we typically had to mail, snail mail, the tax returns in, which caused a huge problem on the tax due date, oftentimes lines forming at the post office at that point. The IRS has more and more tried to get people onto the email system, in part because that's, of course, easier 